All right. So this is the first uh, video I'm doing on affiliate marketing. Um, I've been saying a while now I'm going to do one. It's taken a while to get out, mainly because I'm not sure uh, what content to include and what to do. The reason behind that is there's just so much out there on the internet already. Um, you don't know whether you're teaching your grandma to suck eggs and stuff like that. Um, is it say, much of a sameness that I'm doing? That kind of thing. Uh, didn't know where to start either, where to start from the very start or um, just do what I'm doing kind of thing. But I'm starting from the start with just a slideshow to start with. Uh, just to give you all the basics, uh, if you do know a lot about it, this will probably not come as any new news to you or include much, but I would still recommend watching it because if you don't, then the next lot of videos I'm bringing out probably won't mean a lot. I'm still not 100% sure which way I'm going to take it, but um, I have fallen into, personally, I've fallen into affiliate marketing through what I was doing with Canny Drift as uh, last year. Uh, what I mean by that is um, I was obviously, I started doing match betting, I started using uh, each way sniper and then I started kind of promoting each way sniper, telling people to use it and I was getting an affiliate kickback. I'll go into that. What I'll do um, during the slideshow, I'll relate it back to my experiences doing uh, affiliate marketing, how I've fallen into it. Since I fell into it and made money doing that, I think I mentioned on a couple of videos back that I'm doing like about £1,500 a month now, which I'm still doing. And it is really a nice little income. I mean, you don't really, if you can live off 1500 quid a month, I know some people can't, but, or even if you were doing that on top of your sort of main job. I mean, I'm fortunate. I'm just working part-time on a campsite. I've got savings behind us and I'm getting the money from the affiliate market now. Uh, so up front, it's, it's not a get rich quick scheme and that's the other thing as well there's so much shite on the internet it's unbelievable you ask for help places and all people are doing is trying peddling your stuff and selling your stuff like dm is and i'll give you some information dm is dm that, especially facebook uh, there's so many sort of scammers out there and stuff uh, i'm trying to keep this like real uh you know like on the level um so hopefully that's an introduction um i have taken it to the next level for me i've done like a couple of more websites and a couple of more um ideas i'm using some different software i'm using two lots of software which i'll come on to in future videos i'm not going to mention any software or anything in this video um but i will come on to those in future videos um because i find that really useful and there's different things or different things basically i'll leave it at that um so this is just a basic um overview of what affiliate marketing is what it isn't uh it's not get rich quick but it can be good as a passive income initially there's a lot of work to do but once you get the work done um it can be quite passive although i'd still recommend spending some time um enhancing it um expanding it promoting it and because because your rewards are going to be much bigger doing it that way which is what i've seen happen as well the less time i spend on it each week um <clears throat> the income still ticks over but it doesn't increase you can still don't get us wrong you can still uh, increase it but it doesn't increase as much it goes up exponentially like if you put a bit of extra time in do it uh, a bit more work, a bit more promotion, um, but we'll get on to all that in as, after after this one. I'm hoping this um, video isn't going to be too boring. That was another reason I didn't um, bring it out straight away. Um, I was just trying to think of some decent content, but uh, this one's going to have to be slightly sort of um, theory based. Uh, not hands on or anything like that, and um, but uh, it's it will be something we can refer back to because I'm not sure like which direction I'm taking this. I wouldn't mind getting a group together of like minded affiliate marketers, um, but it needs to keep away from the scammy like uh, get rich quick crap that's out there at the minute. I want something that's like can be used as a a really good resource for people making money tried and tested ways of making money rather than like what's out there because there's just so much rubbish i'd say about what i've been looking at on the affiliate market stuff i'd say about 90 95 percent of it's just pure trash and just like people trying to make money i'll come on to all that during 
during this video and the next ones. So what is affiliate marketing then? Um, affiliate marketing is performance-based marketing strategy where a business rewards affiliates for driving traffic or sales to their website through affiliate marketers' efforts. So uh, in a nutshell, you've basically got a customer who uh, purchase a product and you act as a middleman. So for example, uh, I'll go back to my example of Each Way Sniper. When I was um, promoting Each Way Sniper last year, it was £30 a month for the um, automated version. I can't remember how much the manual, or maybe about 20 anyway. The manual isn't here or there because I wasn't promoting that one because it didn't interest me. That's the other thing as well. I'm only promoting stuff that interests me and that I know works. And if it doesn't work, I'll ditch it and I'll tell people it doesn't work. Um, it needs to be. Um, you need, eth you need to be ethical about it. You, you need to think of it as, would I promote and recommend this to family and friends? If the answer is no, I wouldn't even recommend it to a stranger because you might get the odd sale, you might get a few sales, you might get a few hundred sales, um, but at the end of the day, they'll turn around and just say the product's crap and you'll not get any more. Whereas if you turn your customers into fans and they become uh, loyal followers and they're getting value from what you're um, telling them to buy or what you're recommending, then they're more likely to buy from you again or recommend it to somebody else who'll buy. So that way it exponentially grows better. So anyway, you'll have a customer who buys something, you act as the middleman. So going back to my example, I'll say each way a sniper. Um, I, I, I started using that myself and originally that's how I fell into affiliate market. And then I saw that Mike uh, Krukshank who was selling it, uh, had an affiliate scheme. And it was advertised, I'm pretty sure it was advertised as a 75%. So I think 30 quid, you were going, you were meant to get 75%. But I only ever saw 50%. But even so, imagine every person who bought um, Each Way a Sniper through my recommendation. I was getting 15 and Mike was getting the other 15. In fact, I'm assuming the affiliate network, which was ClickBank, still is uh they would be taking their cut as well so mike was probably getting less than 15 and that's the way affiliate marketing works i mean it's a win-win situation really i was getting 15 quid off everybody who bought it i still am if they're still using it the problem with uh, each way sniper is the longevity uh i've kind of i still got one of my two subscriptions i cancelled one but i still got the other one because i'm still using a few 50 pence accounts i'm getting a couple of hundred quid each month out of uh, each way sniper still i think i've still got sky bet uh that's the main one and i've got um virgin bet is it virgin no i think somebody else i've got a, at least two or maybe poker stars or something I get most of my bets with Sky Bet though, but I'm only getting like 50 pence each way on it. So uh, that is an issue. But um, I'm getting 15 pound for anybody who's still using it. The problem is um, the subscribers fall and then you get a few more. So the kind of stay level, you lose subscribers because the, you can only use it so long. I'm not naive enough to know that. You know, you can't use each way a sniper forever. Uh, you get gubbed on your account, so you can't use it. Um, but that's how I've that's how I fell into affiliate marketing, and basically I just looked for different things in that niche. And the niche was sort of gambling software. I was actually started as making money online while I'm traveling, um, which it still is. I want to get out of the gambling stuff. That's why I'm doing affiliate marketing now. That's the purpose of this video. It's slightly different than what I've done in the past with the gambling and uh, match betting and value betting stuff. Um, so then you you sort of advertise on behalf of the merchant. They make money because they don't have to do anything um, to sell a software. You're selling it for them. And imagine Mike having, say, a thousand affiliates if every one of those a thousand affiliates get w just one sale a month which is very very conservative and uh, that's a thousand sales of his software uh for the month um so he's getting a thousand fifteen quids and you're getting one fifteen quid and all the other 999 other affiliate marketers are getting their 15 quid each month and that's recurring that's a good thing about the software service the SAS, the SaaS software as a service, it, it's um, recurring. People pay for these things monthly. So if you can find affiliate schemes that pay you 50% of the subscription, you're going to get that as a recurring uh, income every month. 
So your key players are the merchant then, which is uh, the product or service owner. So in uh, the each way sniper scenario, that's uh, Mike. The affiliate is uh, myself or Canny Drifters. Um, and then you've got the customer who is the end customer who, who pays for it. And as long as the customer uses my link, then uh, you're going to get the recurring income. If they don't, then it, whoever link they do use off the go direct, then um, nobody gets a, a share of the pie, if you like. So the process is of what I've just mentioned. The affiliate promotes the merchant's product or service. The customer clicks on your affiliate link and the customer makes a purchase on the merchant's site. And then the merchant or the affiliate network tracks the purchase via cookies, which is what it sends over using your specific link. And then the affiliate earns commission. So basically, um, if somebody uses my link to buy each way sniper at 30 pounds, I get 15. Um, as you, a lot of you'll know, the each way sniper for whatever reasons went up to sixty pound a month, more or less after I started using it. But if you are on, if you if you on the thirty pound a month, you were tied in at that and didn't go up for any existing users. That was, was just for new users. So any new users, I get the on each way sniper now. I get thirty pounds, and like, and you know, you get fifty percent still. Um, so it has doubled, but it is harder to get people to use it because it's more expensive. But it, at the end of the day. And those who do use it um, will know that it's, it's still worth 60 quid, in my view anyway. Um, I made thousands on it, and I've still got mates who are still using it who are making thousands. Anyhow, that's the process. Um, so why choose affiliate marketing? It's got a very low startup cost, um, depending on how you do it, and there's loads of different ways of doing it. Um, your startup cost can be sort of nothing really and I'll come on to that later on in this video and also in future uh, videos when we've been into more in-depth uh, training and how, how to do affiliate marketing but you can start up uh, you can actually I'm trying to think if it's even possible to start up for zero it probably is but I don't know how successful you'd be there are certain things I'd recommend doing uh, but, you know, you don't need websites if you don't want to, although it's probably my advice would be to have a website which would incur like web hosting costs and things, but we will get into all that. But at the, at the end of the day, you can um, you can you can sign up to an, an affiliate network. You can um, get a, an affiliate link and then you can just ban that affiliate link around loads of different places like social media um things like that you can get you can even get an email marketing list without spending money and, and i'll come on to things like that in future videos as well when we get on the software side of things uh you don't need a product and you don't need to create a product and you don't need inventory you're basically just selling something that's already there and um if you're doing the affiliate marketing side and you haven't got your own product because you can go down your own product where you're making more money because you're getting money yourself you're getting all the money yourself so for example if you um created like a digital product like a course or something and you sold it for say 20 quid uh, you get all that 20 quid you know you know you, you know you're not restricted to um giving half to somebody else you're getting it all yourself you're not getting just half of it uh, the other option as well is if you go down that route, you can um, create your own digital products and then be, you can become an affiliate yourself, but then you've got to remember that you've got to like manage that and everything. But we'll come on to all that as well because that's stuff I'm already looking at and doing. Um, it's very flexible and very scalable. Uh, you can scale it up um, as far as you want, really, as long as you can get the customers to see your offers and uh, make them buy them somehow. And we'll come on to all that. Um, it's performance-based income, so the better you perform, the, the more income you're going to get. If, I mean, I'm quite happy with the 15 and a quid a month. Um, it's more than enough that I need at the moment to live on each month. It pays for everything I need. Obviously, it helps at the minute living on a campsite because um, I get everything included, electric, gas. Uh, well, I don't use gas, so electric, water, um, showers, washing machines, so I can do all my uh, laundry and everything. Uh, the only thing I do need to pay for at the moment is uh, food, so groceries, and then going out. And obviously, I can cut right down and going out if I wanted to. So it would just be groceries that are, if push comes to shove. Uh, 
and there's a wide, a very wide range of products and services you can promote as well. And we'll come on all that when we look at niches and things like that. And uh, then you've got different, there's different uh, major affiliate mark, uh, networks. So these are affiliate networks. So these are like um, the marketplaces for affiliate marketing offerings. Um, so things like ClickBank, uh, which is what Mike Cruikshank's uh, each way snipers on. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of ClickBank because it looks a bit, when you go onto them, they, um, I don't know a lot of the sales pages, they're not the same, but they're all like, um, they're all like um, get rich quick schemes and it's all the like American stuff like uh, buy this now and you'll be like a millionaire next week kind of thing. Even when you look, and I know it put me off initially, even if you look at each way sniper sales page on ClickBank, I thought it was dreadful. It just looks so salesy and like false and you think and this cannot be true um but i'm pleased i went for it for whatever reason i did um but um yeah I don't but there's different ones the share a sale a cg affiliate there's even like amazon associates you can sign up with amazon and you can peddle their product so like um i don't know if anybody remembers last year long-term subscribers might um, when I was doing, um, when I first started doing each way sniper and also I think it was a uh, Betfair bot manager, I needed a PC running 24 seven and I, uh, signed up to a couple of, um, VPS, um, services and I was, uh, promoting them and I was telling people which ones I was using. So I was getting a kickback on those. And then I actually went down the route of um, using a mini PC running um, in in my property for like uh, just running on electricity because I thought it was just as cheap running that for a month as it was for using a VPS, which is working out about 15 quid a month, I think 10 or 15 quid a month. Um, but then I started um, doing Amazon Associates. So I was recommending using the, I was just putting on there that I was using a certain mini PC. I think I'd done a mini review of it on a, um, a video and a, maybe a review on the website and i said use i'm using this mini pc and it works fine for for each way sniper and i did get a there was a few people use the link and bought that mini pc or something similar it doesn't even have to be that mini pc it could be anything you get a 24 hour cookie on uh, amazon associates it used to be longer but it's down to 24 hours now so if anybody buys if uses your link and then buys anything in the next 24 hours you'll get a tribute to that the problem with like amazon associates is you only get like four or five percent it's a very low percentage it's not 50 60 but that's because it's a product rather than a service um, but you could set up a website or an amazon associates site that just peddles uh, amazon um products but just bear in mind that you're only going to get four or five percent the maximum goes up to about 10 for like amazon's own products and things like that um but it's still not a lot it, it adds up don't get us wrong it adds up but you need a big massive traffic um splurge to get that kind of good money that you get from like just the odd sale of a bigger more expensive service based product um so choosing your niches is one of the most important things now um Especially first off, I'd recommend going something that you've got a passion for. You need to list down all your passions, your uh, what you do at work, um, whether it's passion or whether you've got like expertise in it. It's going to be a lot quicker and easier to start if you've got a passion for it. There's no point getting into like something like I don't know a garden chimney as if you're not even remotely interested in, in them or you don't have any idea um, of how they work and different types and things like that. Um, so what you really need to do is list down all your passions, list down all your sort of experience from work and list down all your hobbies as well. Um, and you should have a, a list of about four, five, six items there that you can then uh, look into further. You then need to do research, uh, research the market for those um, that list you've got, the short list you've got and make sure there's some demand and check out competition. So the big three, and there is others, but the big three um, niches sent, like um, center around health, wealth, and relationships, or some people say sex, 
Um, so you've got health, which is fitness, losing weight, things like that. You've got wealth, which is making money, uh, personal finance, things like that. And then you've got relationships like dating or how to sort of um, get a girlfriend, how to get a boyfriend, things like that. They're the big three, but there are plenty of others. There's like your tech stuff. You've got like uh, software as a service, which I've already mentioned. You've got like pet care, things like that. Um, you've got to make sure you're not too broad. There's no point just doing a weight loss one. You're not going to get enough traffic because you're never going to compete with the big boys. You're never going to be an authority in your in your niche. You've got to like nail it down a lot lower than that. So you might do, if you're thinking of pet care, you might do things like, um, I don't know, I'm just making stuff up yet. You could do like um, healthy dog treats or something like that, or low-fat dog treats. So you're, you're, you're in the pet care section but you're like um getting a lot more into like a specific niche because then you can target those keywords and if anybody searches for those keywords on google you're going to appear if you've done an, enough sort of content around that kind of thing like low low fat or low health dog treats uh good health dog treats whatever and again i'm just talking off the top of my head yeah you need to sort of research that and see what um can be good and what isn't and again we're just doing an overview here so i'm not going to go into it in too much detail you need to look for profitability and sustainability now profitability i'm looking at things like if you're getting into something like um, the product side of things, like, and I'm going back to Amazon here, you're going to get a really, really low commission on um, product commissions percentages. So you're looking at way less than 10% for every product you sell. Um, now, come pair that to like a digital content where or a service or software as a service like each way sniper for example i'm getting like 30 quid now out of the 60 quid so i'm getting 50 percent for every sale uh, to get 30 quid on amazon product sales you'd have to sell a good sort of three thousand pounds worth of gear uh which you know is possible but you think to get three thousand pounds worth of sales you're either gonna have to be selling really high ticket items or promoting high ticket items and then hopefully your customers will go through and purchase those high ticket items or um you're gonna have to have a lot a lot of footfall through your website and through your articles to actually click that that's and again that's fine if you've got um a lot of um customers or potential customers what i've found from experience so far is that it's better to have um smaller amounts but have them as loyal customers rather than have it's probably better to have like sort of a thousand customers who you're confident are going to buy from you because they trust you rather than uh, ten thousand customers who are just like passing by and just might purchase one thing from you and then shoot off um you so you've got to think about whether you're limited just to products i.e amazon products whether you can um expand the services and then digital content where you either purchase digital content on like your plr which is uh, private label rights or um mmr which is your um i don't remember what mr is uh, the master resale rights sorry um, so you can purchase PLR or MMR products where you can actually resell them as your own. And we'll go into that more detail because you can't resell them all as your own. It depends on the license. You need to check into that. Or you create your own. Now, creating your own is a good way of doing it because you're getting the income from it all. But there's, there's also a disadvantage to creating your own because you imagine if a customer's unhappy with what they've purchased from you, then if you create it yourself, you're going to have to deal with the customer support, customer service after the purchase. Whereas if it's like um, pure affiliate marketing where you're just promoting the product like I am with AWS, if there's any problems with a purchase at AWS, or fair enough, a person could come back to me and say, look, uh, Kenny, I bought like uh, each way a sniper, it's not working out. And I'll try and help them with like a settings. I'm, I'm quite confident all that AWS does work uh, because so many people have used it and made so much money out of it. Um, even if it doesn't add point into that sort of settings initially and then get them to contact Mike 
and you know that's it. and it's Mike's issue to deal with the customer service. At the end of the day, if you're doing affiliate marketing, it's like if you sell a product on uh, Amazon, they're not going to come to you and say, "I bought this product from Amazon. You recommend it. It doesn't work." They might do, but then you just say, "Well, go back to Amazon. You can speak to them about, it and I'll give you a refund." And that's where you need to look at it. So, so there's different. There's there's pros and cons for all these things. But I wouldn't, uh, especially initially, I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend just limiting yourself to product. So like you might do, um, so for example, if you were doing beauty skincare and you were doing like um, aging beauty cream that keeps you looking young, um, you wouldn't necessarily want to just do that and only have the scope of using Amazon products because you will need a lot of sales to um, get a good income. Uh, I would start by having something where you can do product and services and you know whatever the broader you can do it the better so for example my ews i could uh, promote like the like, like i said the um mini servers to to run the software so moving on then i'm concerned this uh, is going to be a long video already um we're looking at content strategies now you can post blogs and articles so to post blogs you can use your own website you can use hosted websites like you can use a google blogger for example so you don't need your own website articles you can post articles on your own website you can post articles on different um, platforms like medium and there's a few others which i'll go into in uh, later videos as well so again you don't necessarily need your own um website social media marketing you can just use every single platform even uh, like you know like you can use facebook instagram um tiktok and youtube or they fall more under the video marketing side of things you can use pinterest depending if it's uh, a good suit to your niche so uh, they reckon a lot of it's, it's, it's a high percentage of women on Pinterest and like beauty and stuff like that and uh, fashion would be uh, bigger ones there. Email marketing, uh, we'll go into that. You can collect um, emails, so you create your own email list. And that is a key way to actually um, build up your business. Um, it's better than all the rest, really, to be honest, because um, you've got an asset there. Once you've got an email list of all your um, customers or potential customers, that's yours. Nobody can take that from you. Whereas, like social media marketing, you can do something wrong on Facebook, you can do something wrong on uh, Twitter, you can do something wrong on all of them, basically, and get your account banned. Uh, and then you've overnight you've lost your business if you're relying solely on uh, Facebook. It's again all the eggs in one basket. Uh, video marketing, you do YouTube and TikTok, you can do stuff now where you don't need to um, have your face on it, or you can have your face on it if you're that way inclined. Um, I'll come on to all that. Product reviews and comparisons, you, you can post product reviews and comparisons, and again, that can be on your own website. It can be on a hosted site that you don't pay for, and it can be on like uh, things like again medium.com, whereby you just post your own articles. You can build up quite a following on plat those kind of platforms now. Um, moving on, driving traffic to affiliate links. You can um, use search engine optimization if you've got your own website, and we'll come on to that. Or even some like of some of the. Um, hosted platforms now like medium and um, if you put keywords into that they can appear on google search and we'll, we'll get on all that what doesn't what doesn't uh, so when somebody's searching on google it can return like um, medium uh, articles that you've written and again that means you don't need your own website paid advertising can be good to get you um if you want a quick results you can get you out there so far advertised on say facebook ads um if anybody who's interested who or who's shown an interest in betting systems or value betting or um betting platforms then i can promote ews to them you need to be aware at this stage that uh, you need to read the t's and c's for all affiliate um offers that you sign up for because some have some strange ones where you can't do this that and the other um but that We'll come on to that in more detail as well. So social media promotion, we've touched on that in the last one. You can 
you can't post things like direct links to facebook and things like that um unless you're doing an ad but in a normal post you, that's why you'll get everybody saying dm me for more information and um, but what you can do on all all of these um what you can do is a minimum on all of these um social media platforms is put your uh, links in the in your bio so if you've got a bio you can put like your website in or you can put if you've got a hosted site somewhere on wix or something like that that's free yeah you can uh, you can put your links on that uh you can guest blog and uh, you can set up influencer cal collaboration collaborations but that's that's for like uh, future once you get going really um so next then measuring success i'm not going to touch too much on that but there's different ways of measuring success you can use tracking tools and software like google analytics you can monitor click-through rates, uh, conversion rates, sales and commissions, and then uh, you can adjust your strategies based on performance data. But at the end of the day, the way I look at measuring success is just by how much I'm getting each month, your sales commissions. Um, if I made like sort of 1,200 quid last month and only make a thousand pound this month, then I know I need to have a look at something and see what I can improve. If I made 1,200 quid last month and I made 1,500, quid this month then i know i'm doing better and then i'd only look at improving or changing things around uh, when it next went down but we'll come on to all that kind of stuff that's not something for the present it's for the future the uh, measuring success um compliance and ethics um it's a case of you must disclose your affiliate relationship so you're telling potential customers that if they do use your links on your website or in your marketing emails or anything like that, then you could be making money from uh, any link or anything they sign up to and pay for that. You could be making money. You have to be clear about that. There's uh, the CMA in the UK or there's FTC in the US and their guidelines. Um, I believe the FTC in the US is government-based, whereas the CMA isn't in the UK. But uh, regardless of where you are, look up your local and national really because i suppose if you're in the uk selling the us then you probably want to look at ftc as well as the cma and um, but if you're just in the uk and the you're just selling to people in the uk like that's kind of ews scenario then you're probably just looking at the cma but just have a look through it make sure you're not breaching uh, any of the rules and you're not being like uh you just make sure you're compliant and then uh, the next one's ethical as well, as well as being compliant. Just make sure you're ethical. Don't promote absolute garbage. You know, like you'll be a millionaire this time tomorrow. Just don't do it, man. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time because you're just going to be, you're not even going to be in business before you're out of business. Um, honestly, go back to the what I mentioned earlier. If you wouldn't truly recommend it to a friend or family, then just don't bother with it. If it looks too good to be true, don't even bother with the offer. There's plenty of affiliate offers out there. I mean, if you look at all these YouTubers and things, they're all like peddling. Uh, I keep saying peddling, it sounds awful, but they're like, it, it is, they're just like affiliate marketers for like, uh, you'll have things like, like VPNs is a popular one, like in the van life community. I watch a lot of van life YouTubers. And they'll be either sponsored by Surfshark, they'll be sponsored by NordVPN. And basically these VPN companies are sponsoring their videos, giving them some money to promote their products on YouTube. And that's another form of income. And then the YouTubers will give you a code. You use that code and then there's a, there's a kickback for that as well as them getting paid for the video. Uh, obviously it depends on what um contract and agreement they've got with the vpn providers but it's it's a it's a form of affiliate market and, and they they then say this video contains a sponsored promotion so you know if you're signing up a surfshark or, or nord vpn that they're getting a kickback um but they're obviously uh, happy to do that uh, the, the the youtubers are saying right i'll, I'll promote this because i'll believe in the product and just don't do it. if you don't believe in something just don't do it honestly it's not worth it because you, you're just going to damage the reputation of your business you're not going to have a business um because word will soon get out there that you're just peddling in garbage you're just trying to sell garbage to people just to get some income and um, then just respect the privacy and data protection laws obviously data protection laws in gdpr and the eu is a big thing even though the uk has uh, left the eu we're still uh, governed by gdpr it's a biggie really so um 
just follow that and uh we'll come on to that in more detail even though it's um extremely mind-numbingly boring we'll have to come on to it at some point because it's like the yeah I, I see you so overcoming those obstacles um you've got a competition and market saturation obviously um people well you need to look at competition uh the better the niche with the least competition the better but it's no good then if nobody's searching for that kind of um niche so for example me healthy dog treats before if you go down say another level and you say healthy um i, I don't know um zero calorie treats and you're concentrating solely on zero calorie treats or whatever something really specific um yeah you're likely to have less competition or maybe even zero competition but then if nobody's searching for zero calorie dog treats then you're also not going to get any business because you're not going to get any um, traffic you're not going to get anybody interested in your product unless you can just keep going out and uh, pushing it um the next one is building uh trust with your audience i don't know what this sounds like you but i'm sitting in the car recording and it's absolutely lashing down good old british summer it's absolutely peeing it down and it's slamming off the car Anyhow, building trust with your audience. Um, that's what I was saying about get get it. It's much better to have quality over quantity. Quality audience, uh, people who um, are true supporters, true followers. Hopefully over the last year I've built up um, a few of those and I'm happy with like 50 to 100 rather than 100,000 to 500,000 because if they're not true followers, they're unlikely to buy anything. They'll just unsubscribe from any email list you've got or just unfollow you from any social media, things like that. They'll likely only buy once and then call your product worse and crap and then um, that's going to affect every con uh, every future sale once word gets out that you just sort of... Um, peddling rubbish uh, you need to build up trust and show that you have some kind of authority and that you, you know um, certain things are you at least promoting something that works and that you've made money from yourself i like to do i like to test out something if it doesn't work i'll not even mention it i mean i've tested out loads of stuff over the last year some things i liked i got I got a bit of stick like last year i was like um saying oh, i'd used this for two months and it was really good and people are saying well why didn't you tell her two months ago it's like a double-edged sword really why didn't you tell her two months ago because we could have been using it and also oh, you're coming on now and you're saying you've made x amount out of it and um, but you didn't tell her about it that's a bit uh suspect and i'm like well i just wanted to make sure it worked first before um i started telling people about it so then I started, I'd done the other thing and I come out and I said, right, I'm starting this this week. If anybody wants to jump on board, don't blame me if it doesn't work. And uh, some of those didn't work like that exponential bet didn't do very well. And there was another one, bet, bet pro or so bet some there, or, or, I don't know, I can't remember what it was, it was an automated thing. Um, and it was a guy who come on our um, forum actually and uh, done a bit of input, but that, that didn't go too well. Uh, but just so happened it seemed to coincide with the ones i was trying up front that didn't go well although ews I, I did mention that pretty early although i had been running that a couple of months to be fair i've run it november and december 22 before i actually put it out there um also you need to keep up with uh industry trends and changes so if you're doing like a niche of healthy dog treats you need to keep up with what's going on um any changes any trends so if anything's looking good get on it start selling that and then you're going to get more customers especially if something takes off especially if you get it on the up upward crest just before it becomes popular there's no point getting it on the downward as sales drop off you need to be getting in there and uh, seeing what's big and what's not at the end of the day it doesn't cost anything to actually promote something so if you see something if you see something think oh that might be the next best thing write an article about it um, promote it and say this is going to be i believe this is going to be the next best thing don't promise it's going to be the next best thing or this could be the next best thing and then if it is you're in a much better position because you've already got something out there promoting it and and, if, and you'll get a lot more recognition as like an industry expert or at least have some you know an industry authority on it and you need consistent content creation and marketing efforts so don't like 
this, this is an important one if you want to keep your income rolling. Don't just do, you know, do do something regularly. Once set set yourself a target or a milestone of creating content once a week, once a day, once a month. But just make it consistent. If you're doing once a month, it doesn't seem much, but it'll build up. You'll have twelve articles a year or, t- or twelve pieces of content a year, whatever it is. Um, if you're doing uh, one a week, you're going to have 52 a year. You're going to have a lot more information out there, a lot more of your links, a lot more of your affiliate links will be out there, and a lot more chance of making money in years to come. If you hit on some things that aren't extremely popular now but become in vogue, then, you know, you're, you're not a winner. So getting started, um, just go over this... Um, slideshow again watch it as many times as you need you can fast forward all the crap i'm talking just have a look at the points um jot some key points down the the, the biggest ones your niche you need to find a, a, a nice niche uh, like i say particularly one you're interested in that you have a passion for it's going to make it a lot easier especially for your first startup and again you, you can create as many of these as you want you don't need to restrict yourself to one i'm actually doing i've got three going on at the minute i've got um we can drifters and i've got a couple of others one thing i'm not going to go into in this uh series is uh, my other niches uh, there's a couple of reasons for that um i want to keep them not discreet but i want to keep them uh, private than me i've got one niche that i use as a hobby <laughs> you probably think i'm a total geek but uh, i'm really quite into it and it is just a hobby and it's like um it's very uh, it's it's to such an extent that um it it's kind of it's it goes fast to say it's nearly 100 well it's not 100 percent, but it's getting on for like 90 95 percent affiliate for uh, amazon so it is like what i said don't do so that's another reason i wouldn't recommend that it's, it's only geared towards like um products um so it's like equipment and gear that would you, you would use for a certain hobby um and there's no i mean i could write like a report or a paper or a guide um but there's books and stuff out there there's stuff on youtube there's free stuff available so whether people would pay to buy what i would uh create is debatable but i haven't done that anyway so i'm just selling stuff i'm kind of saying this this is what i use for this hobby and uh, you can get it here on amazon and uh, to be fair i've made a little bit of money out of it but that's how i know it goes slower because you do need a hell of a lot of people um coming through and it's not a massive like hobby so it's not the most popular hobby in the world so um i'm not gonna mention what it is um and also the other one i'm doing is more in line with the um making money so the wealth uh, niche and it's specific it's a specific niche as well for something and i'm doing a lot better on that one and that's how i can say like uh, because that's you know that's that's what i'd recommend doing uh, going down that don't go to something dead broad don't just do like making money online it's too broad you need to do something you know like losing weight is too broad you need to do something like lose weight um on the low carb diet or lose weight you know to do with something like low carb or uh, things like that it helps if you've done it as well and if you're not in that position then just just read up on it and um the the key thing is to get a niche and, and to give it a go and start small you don't you start big at all you can start small just put your um, put your any links to any articles you've written or anything you've set up i'm going to come on to like free software and stuff and paid software and what you can do and what you can use i'm going to go into like different software and how we can use it to work these things and uh, just start small uh, but take action start now and start small and then you need to sort of highlight the potential for growth and success how you can like um you know grow so that's where i'm struggling with my hobby one the good thing about the hobby one is um i, I go out and do that hobby so i'm writing blogs about like what i do when i'm out and about um doing it 
Um, so I'm getting a lot of experience blogs down there. And if nothing else, it's it's acting as like a little blog diary for me for future reference. So even if I don't make any money out of it, because you know, I'm struggling to see how that has potential for growth. But the other one, um, the making money side of things, that has got potential for growth and it's grown already. Finally, additional resources, I'm going to list uh, useful software systems, websites, blogs and books in their uh, future videos. And I'm thinking about setting up like an email and list rather than doing videos because I'm not sure this content is um, useful as part of um, a video series. I think uh, obviously things like software and systems, I can actually show you them working on a video. Um, but if I'm just going through um, the list of website links and blogs and books, that's more like information, which would probably be better suited like in uh, email updates or some kind of club um, or Discord group or something. I, I fell out with Discord a little recently. I haven't been that involved in it because um, I've had so many scammers on. It's unbelievable. So I just came off completely. I'll just let you guys. And I know it's like um, it's run down a bit because there's not much um, action on there compared to some of the Discord servers that I'm still a member of. Um, but honestly, running the Discord server, I didn't realize it was going to be so time consuming. You just get so much crap um, sent on a continual basis. And like you end up missing you end up missing like sort of genuine messages from people uh which is a nightmare really uh because you get i'm getting hundreds of like uh, messages a day for like requests of things and stuff and some and people trying to make it sort of sign up to stuff and things like that it's just i didn't realize it was going to be so bad so i kind of i don't know whether there's I, I might look at see if there's any kind of membership software out there where i can get people on board even even if it's free membership or i might charge i don't know because the last thing i want to do like if i if i opened up a discord server for like affiliate marketing i just had a section in the current server for affiliate marketing which i probably is there but there's probably nothing posted in it because this is the first video I just think it would be abused. I think everybody, every man and his dog, based on what I've seen all over the internet, every affiliate marketer and his man and dog will be on there trying to promote stuff. I do believe a lot of them are the ones who aren't succeeding. They're just failing because they're trying to do the thing that I'm telling people not do. They're trying to get, they're trying to do a numbers game by just putting their name out to like hundreds of thousands and millions of like readers and hopefully one or two will bite. And they pay them like what is it? It's either seven. What's the current rate? It's seven dollars, twenty-seven dollars, ninety-seven dollars, forty-seven dollars, hundred ninety-seven dollars, one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars, nine hundred ninety-seven dollars. You get the idea. Everything ends in a seven dollars these days. Um, just I don't know. It's just crazy. It's just. Um, I am going to actually purchase some as well, some of the cheaper ones, and see if they're worthwhile. Uh, it would be quite interesting because then I can report it back um, as to say what's absolute garbage and what isn't. Um, but yeah, and I'm going to do links to popular affiliate programs and networks coming up because there's a few I haven't mentioned in here. I mean, even if you find something that you like using, that you're good at using, I mean, it might be a piece of software like, um, I don't know, just say um, I don't, uh, like one of these Hot, like uh, graphic design programs. I mean, if that's your if that's your bag, um, like I don't know Adobe. I believe they've got an affiliate program. Um, so if you're using like Adobe as a Photoshop, so if you're using Adobe Photoshop and you're an expert on it, you use it work day in day out. You can become a, an affiliate for Adobe Photoshop, assuming your uh, current em employer doesn't have any objections. I don't know if that's a thing or not. It might be. You'd probably uh, look at your employment uh, contract. Um, but if you're, if you're using Adobe Photoshop day and day out and you're an expert at it, um, you can just go on Google and you can type in Adobe and then affiliate or whatever product or service and then affiliate. I mean, it wouldn't take much for you to write some knowledgeable um, content about Adobe Photoshop if you use it day and day out. And then uh, anybody clicking your link, you'll get a kickback. And, and, and that software is like subscription based. So... People will pay for that annually, and you, you'll get a percentage of that every single payment that's paid, whether that's monthly or annually. And it's things like that. That's just one example. I mean, there's loads of software 
Um, but if you're unsure if anybody's got an affiliate program, just type in like uh, type in the product or the service or the software and just put affiliate after like uh, QuickBooks affiliate. I'm just thinking off the top of my head here. Um, you know, just just whatever. Whatever you, you might like to go back to your niche thing, uh, look at what you do at work. Look at what you, you must be an expert in something at work or you wouldn't be employed, would you? Um, or you, you, you know, you must know something more than your public that you use at work, even if you're like not even a 100% expert in it, even if you only know 50% of it, you probably know a lot more. That's 50% more than like I'd know who wasn't working at your place of work using that software. And if it's a popular piece of software, or whatever, or it's a niche piece of software. It doesn't even need to be popular, just niche. If it was like something to do with property or um, finance, things like that, anything, anything where there's a subscription for that software, then um, you can normally, there'll be an affiliate program for it and just sell it. Just promote it, sell it, and, and that's what so I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to come up with some a list of um, popular affiliate programs and networks. So um that's all to come in the future though but um yeah i'm going to bring this video to an end because christ it's been going on some time now i'll be getting uh, banned from youtube soon for for the length of these videos i babble on too much i think um but hopefully you get the idea of affiliate marketing i'm going to use this if i do set up a membership area even like even if it's a free membership i'll put the slide deck on um because i'm going to use it as a starting point i might update it. i'm going to put a version um, system on it and uh, i might update it now and again and add more stuff on so it'll become like a bit of a not just a slide deck it'll become like a, a knowledge base or a knowledge book or a knowledge slideshow of uh what we're doing because then when we fit each slide as we do some more as we pad it out because this is obviously just bullet points i want to pad each each slide out and each bullet point in each slide out and uh, hopefully we'll get um a, a nice list of you know like a knowledge thing going on that you can, people can rely on i just don't want any crap on it i don't want like uh, stuff that's just like uh you know this uh fly by night stuff you can make millions of pounds doing this that and the other anyway i hope that's been useful to some that's what i'm doing at the minute that's where i'm making a lot of my money because like i say the a lot of the gambling stuff's dried up um, I think it has only got a certain lifespan. Like Match Betting's got a certain lifespan. Then uh, EWS had a certain lifespan. I'm doing. The, I'm still doing some Betfair trading, doing some betting while the Euros is on. Uh, trying to cheer myself up with some of those England performances by um, trying to make a bit of money on the the trading. Doing quite well on the uh, trading of the uh, overall win at the minute. I'm just like, dipping in and dipping out, laying low and back and high. Um. Up back. Well, I've been actually, I've been doing the opposite for uh, teams that have been doing well. Um, but anyway, that that's it for the affiliate marketing. I'm going to call it a day here. If you've got any questions or comments, uh, uh, stick them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. It's another thing I haven't been looking at uh, substantially over the last few months. Um, but I'm trying to get involved back in it. So I'm, I'm, I'm I'm at the stage now where I've done quite a bit on the affiliate marketing side, so it's kind of run itself, but I still need to do. I'm, I'm still currently working on it, but a little bit less hours per week, so I shall have a little bit of time for other things. Okay, I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one, even though it's been an extra long one, and uh, gan canny. <laughs>